Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If uh, it's your first time here, and you like the content, uh, I'd ask that you hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you're if you if you're a regular to the channel and you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, I would uh, ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and help uh, help help me share the videos with uh, more people here on YouTube. Anyway, as you can see, we have a wonderful bluebird day, and uh, it's about 72 degrees, and it's uh, it's really nice out here. Uh, the previous week, the weather left a little to be desired, and that's what I'm here to talk about. The uh, wife and I took a trip back to the Black Hills of South Dakota last week, spent six days there. For six days, I should say, getting there and getting home and hanging around there, and uh, visited all kinds of really cool stuff. It was a uh, it was a lot of fun. We had originally planned to go to Oklahoma to visit uh, some relatives there, and uh, it just didn't work out. Uh, some of the some of the relatives weren't going to be available, and we were going to be able to go there. And so we kind of canceled our plans and made a last minute decision to. Uh, Go ahead and head to the Black Hills. I've always wanted to go there, and of course, you know, that's where Sturgis is. And I'd like to ride my motorcycle there someday, and, and uh, we didn't take a motorcycle there, and it's probably a good thing the way the weather was. But uh, so we figured uh, we'd go kind of pre run it and uh, see what we could see, and hopefully, someday in the future, I'll be able to take the Indian there and check it out. Anyway, so I just kind of give you a rundown of what happened on uh, our trip there. We originally started here in Idaho and took off, went through uh, Yellowstone National Park and of course ran into all kinds of traffic jams. It's like you always do when you go through the park so we're kind of used to it. We go there a couple times a year so no big deal there. Took us a long time. We uh, got through a bunch of buffalo jams and uh, then we ended up in a place called Shell, Wyoming at a Forest Service uh, campground there. And uh, really nice campground along a river. Good time. We had uh, three moose in camp. So got some pictures of those. And uh, just really laid back, nice, uh, nice night sleeping in the tent. We even though we took the car, we were still sleeping in a tent because, uh, you know, I... Myself and my wife both kind of like uh, just getting outside, getting away from everything. So, so from there we cruised on in and headed to our camp uh, campground just outside of Mount Rushmore, and uh, pretty much started raining the first night when, right after we set the tent up, and it rained all the next day, and then we get to uh, set our tent up and it let up just long enough to get everything set up and then we were going to cruise uh, Iron is an Iron Mine Road, Iron Mountain Road I believe it is, down through Custer State Park and then go visit uh, Custer State Park there. Get to the visitor center and uh, we're watching a movie about the park and also the power goes out. Then they come in they go, there's a tornado warning, everybody get in the bathroom, there's a tornado in the area. So we're like, huh, this uh, vacation is starting out uh, pretty fun. We're, we're getting some adventure in here. So, and it was funny because not not, uh, not an hour before my wife asked me, goes, do you think they get tornadoes here? You know, I go, nah, it's too mountainous. There's not, there's no, no room for a tornado to get going. And then, you know, then the tornado warning happens. So we're stranded in the bathroom of this place for like a half an hour wait for uh, the tornado warning to let up. Meanwhile our tent's sitting out in this and we say oh well you know if it's down it's down what are we gonna do? What? So we just cruised around went rode the Needles Highway and made our way back to camp got there about eight o'clock tent was up dry no problems at all so that was a good thing. So then we just crashed out for the night and uh, it rained most of the night. Woke up, the skies were clear. We we're like, cool. So, went on up to Mount Rushmore, took some pictures there, hung out a little bit, got a little history there. 
and it uh, went uh, road, road to Iron Mountain Road again, down through Custer State Park again, and then headed over to the Badlands through Rapid City, and uh, went through there. That was kind of a cool place. Uh, not a must see, but if you got the time and and uh, want to go through there, it's pretty cool. Stop by Wall, South Dakota. Went into the Wall Drug, I think it is. Went to that tourist trap there, and you know, it's it's kind of funny the way I kind of looked at the Black Hills. It's all one big tourist trap. So, so anyway, so we did all that. Cruise back by went to Crazy Horse Monument. Uh, the monument isn't a lot to see; it's still way in the process of getting built. But uh, the story behind it, there's a little movie there. The story behind it was really cool. So if you do have the time, I would stop by there. And like I say, the monuments need to look at, see how it's coming along. But uh, the story behind it is is really, I think, the attraction to that. So. So that was pretty cool. So after that, then we headed back to camp, cooked up some dinner, and uh, hit, hit the hay for the night. So the next morning, it uh, starts raining again. Big surprise there, right? So we head on up to uh, Deadwood. And then the light rain kind of lets up, but it's still really cloudy and really low really low clouds, kind of foggy. So we cruise on into Deadwood and uh, hang out there for a little bit. Took a tour on uh, Kevin Cosner's tour company. Our, uh, our tour guide at slash bus driver was uh, quite a character. He was a lot of fun. If you got an extra 15 or 18 bucks, whatever it was, in an hour to cruise around town, I would uh, recommend that tour. It was a lot of fun. And hopefully you get the same bus driver we did because, and I think they only have one bus, so good, odds are you might get him. And he's quite the character. He's a good time. And he takes you up uh, up to uh, Boot Hill. You get to see uh, Wild Bill Hickok's, uh grave up there. And the cool thing about the tour bus, you're, it's the only tour buses are the only vehicles that are allowed in the cemetery itself. So, if you, unless you want to climb some really steep hills, uh, I would recommend taking the tour bus because it will wear you out getting up to where Wild Bill's grave site is if you want to go see that. But a uh, lot of history, a lot of cool stuff. The guy knew his stuff about the town and it was really interesting and well worth the, uh, the money to go on the tour. Watch the gunfight downtown. That was kind of fun. And then uh, we had uh, packed our tent up from that night, and uh, we were going to go spend the next night at Devil's Tower. Next two nights, actually. So we cruised on in to Devil's Tower from uh, from Deadwood, and uh, the campground there is right at the border of the. National Monument, so you have a clear view right outside your camper. Devil's Tower is right there. Very cool place to camp. The campground was really nice, so it's kind of out of the way, but if you're going to have a chance to get out there and have the time to do it, staying at that campground is, is worth it. So the next day, we... What did we do? It's all kind of a blur now. Uh, let me think here. So the next day, I remember now, it's coming back to me, we uh, visited the Devil's Tower Monument, which was all but shut down, but you just get, we have a National Parks Pass, so if you guys are going to hit a lot of National Parks, I recommend you get one of those, it's really, really good money saver. And uh, so we cruised up in around there, and uh, just kind of checked that place out. Visitor center was closed. We got there before it opened. So, and then we were gonna head over to Sturgis. So we kind of cruised back through Deadwood, and uh, 
had it on over into Sturgis, raided the whole time, just like always. Like I said, good good thing we decided to leave the Indian at home and take a car instead because it uh, it could have been a pretty miserable trip. And the temperature never got above 60 the whole time we were there, so it was cold. And the nights were in the 40s, so it was cold and damp pretty much the whole time we were there. And then, uh, so we headed over to Sturgis, cruised around there, uh, stopped in at the Indian dealership, got a couple t-shirts. And we, we went to, and ate at one of the one of the bars that was open. Most of them were still closed. We were there the week before Memorial Day. And then uh, just kind of milled around and then headed on back to Devil's Tower because it was about an hour or so drive back from Sturgis. It just kind of hung out there and did a little laundry, kind of got things cleaned up and got ready to go. To pack up the next day and head out for our second to last day of our vacation and on, so we got up that next morning and headed on to uh, Little Bighorn Battlefield. And this place is kind of remote out in the middle of nothing not a lot of stuff close by but uh, again if you got the time I, uh, I recommend it and I would plan on spending at least a couple hours there if you really want to get the gist of the whole battlefield and how everything played out. There's a really cool audio tour that you use your phone to listen to all these different spots along the, the road and the battlefield. I think the road that kind of covers the two battlefields one where Custer was and then there was a guy named Reno that was at the other battlefield and uh, anyway really cool audio stuff to listen to listen to the battlefield the battlefield closes at 4 30 in the afternoon so we kind of had to rush it we didn't get there till about three so we kind of had to rush through it a little bit so like I said plan on a couple hours to get there with enough time before they kick you out like they did us and then we just headed on from there to a little KOA that was next to a power plant, so that wasn't the most restful, piece, peaceful night. It was a little loud. And then from there we just packed up and headed on back through Bozeman and then back down to West Yellowstone and back home. And of course it rained that day too. So, anyway, hope you kind of enjoyed my little story there. It, uh, it was a big adventure, tornado warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings, rain, nasty winds, just every bit of kind of craziness you could throw into a vacation, but it was a really good vacation. We actually had a lot of fun. It was cool just to get out and see all the history in that area and, and uh, just, just have a good time getting away. Went to a new area, so now I know where I want to ride when I head back there on the motorcycle someday and it'll be it'll be a good time I'm gonna try to plan it around the rainstorms so I don't have to worry about all that but I'm sure no matter what you're probably gonna catch a little bit back there anyway I do uh, appreciate you coming along listening to me ramble about my vacation sharing my vacation stories and a uh, little some photos for you so, if you guys like the content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if, you, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, I got a lot of content where I travel all over, especially in the northern Rocky Mountains here, and camping here and there, and uh, just enjoying a lot of nice twisty roads like the one we're riding on right now. So you guys take care, ride safe, and uh, we'll see you next time. And I do have another camp and trip planned, so make sure you tune back in for those. Take care now. We'll see you. Bye.